Hello everyone, and welcome to Organ Trail, Director's Cut. I was kind of in the mood for a pretty short little series, and I think we can probably squeeze three, four episodes out of this one. Alright, let's get on with it, shall we? We'll go with campaign, we'll go normal. A second control, yeah, we're using a mouse, it doesn't matter. We'll be... Ladies. Be the dude. We will play the intro. Oh, jeez. Alright. Um. Jeez, that was a nice shot. Come on, mouse. Stop being crap. Oh, awesome. And I'm out of ammo. Well then, looks like I just saved your bacon. I reckon we stand a better chance out there if we stick together. My name is Clemens. I used to be a priest. Not much use for those nowadays. What's your name, partner? I am Shade. The pleasure's all mine, Shade. Listen. Even with the two of us, we won't survive very long. Everybody I trusted died a while back. Do you know anybody we could count on in a pinch? Yes, we will go with... Arcusam. We will go with... Harbinger. We will go with... Grim. And as a total throwback, we'll go with... The Hoff. There's a good chance if they're still alive, they will be at the shelter set up in DC. If they have any sense, that is. We're going to need a way to get around. I saw an old station wagon a few blocks back. Those things might not be very reliable, but you'd be surprised how roomy they are. Anyway, let's get let's get moving. Oh, okay. Sweet. Alright, I think I've got just enough fuel and food for us to make it to DC in this baby. Let's hit the road and I'll drive. Clements has a broken arm. Ooh, dude, it is not your day. Clements has dysentery. It's really not your day. Clements was bitten by a zombie. Dude, come on. And we're out of fuel. Just as the station wagon runs out of fuel, you coast into the city. You can hear a radio blaring in a nearby window. Repeat, all survivors who still remain in the Washington, D.C. area. The government has declared a Class 3 biohazard in the area. They will be commencing a nuclear strike within a few short hours. Get out while you can. The city is lost. Looks like we have a time problem. I'll go and look for your friends at the shelter. Meanwhile, you should go scavenging for supplies. I've heard about a place on the west coast that is supposed to be a safe haven from all of this chaos. Let's meet back here and head out. Here, take my journal. I've written down everything I know about surviving on the road. It should help you while you decide on what you think we need on our trip. Okay, two things of fuel. Two things of food. Two things of medkit. Lots of ammo. Pretty sure everything else we can scavenge. Yeah, that's good. Gotta have that ammo. Your friends join the party. Great! Everyone's here! There's just one more thing. Back there on the road, one of those things bit me. I'm already not feeling too well, and I can't stand the thought of becoming one of them. You're gonna have to put me down. Why don't you keep my journal? It may help you out there. 
Good luck. Sorry, Clemens. I put him down. Well, that sucks. Bandit shoots out one of your tires and drives off. Dick. You don't have the supplies to replace it. Try trading for one. <sighs> um. Nope. One of their tire for one of our muffler. Nope. One of their battery for 16 of my food. Wait, that's a really good deal. <laughs> One of their tire for two of our fuel. Oh man. Alright, alright. At least we can get back on the road. I should probably play um, Oregon Trail one day. But I just thought this was a really great um, sort of knockoff. And a really nice take on that sort of game as well. I actually did a review on it years ago. You see the remains of another party before you. Would you like to stop and take a look? Yep, if it's remains. Here lies the... His name was Matt. He... We called him Steve. Okay, thanks for the med kit. Steve, Matt, do. You see the remains of another party. Alright, let's have a look. J. Garlic Garlic. Joseph R.T. Ah, oh, Noob Cyber. Oh dear. Yeah, you're not coming for me, buddy. Not anymore. Probably take a look at the map. A fire in your car destroys one battery. God damn it, of course it does. Alright, auto shop. Today's special. A snow cone machine. I don't want a snow cone machine. This is useless to me. Um this is also useless to me. I have no money anyway. Let's look at our jobs. Ooh, 200 food. Let's do that one. I was lucky to get out alive, but I dropped something precious. Yeah, we need the we need the food. Go, son. Are there. Bandits for 20 bucks. Alright, let's have a look. Okay, he's definitely the one that we want to shoot first. Okay. I don't think we have much of a window. Down. Shit. 
nice. 20 bucks. Easy money. Come on, mouse, don't be bad. Um, we should probably scavenge for some supplies, or trade for some anyway. I'll do some scavenging first. Take the rifle, because I really want to try and conserve as much ammunition as I can. God damn it. I was stupid just then. Hey, it's a little zombie hand. We can really use some startup capital. Why is everything over here? That's what we want. Sweet. Yeah, that's a decent amount of food. Alright, one more. We could really use some money. And obviously more food. Always more food. It'd be really good to have like a thousand food on us. And at least like a hundred dollars, but maybe more. This mouse just does not want to cooperate. I kind of actually really like the old super bad graphic style. It kind of reminds me of like that era of games, like Space Quest, Heroes Quest, Police Quest. Monkey Island, even. Hell yeah. Okay, you know what? That's probably enough for now. Let's do some trading. One of their tire for three of our scrap. That's a sweet deal. I'd like to have one of each of these, just in case. Ten of their dollars for 61 of our food. You know what? It's a good trade. One of their battery for four of our scrap. That is also a good trade. Now we just need a muffler and we're good to go. One of their muffler for four of our scrap. Hell yes! I mean, like, scrap is good and all, but... buy a bunch but we don't really need any just yet so let's head to the next town you must cross a horde of zombies in order to continue on the road the horde in front of you is currently moderate in size and appears to be docile um, let's see if we can get it to be small and docile ravenous that's the opposite of docile a lot Small and docile, that's what we want. Okay, we're going to attempt to sneak through. Hell yeah. Crunch those zambos. Heavy ash covers the windshield, which forces you to slow down. Gas can fell off the car and spilled. Damn it. Fuel is a very rare resource. A precious one of that. Oh, we found some wild fruit. It's the little things, you know? Ah, the mall, where they are playing Left to Die. Alright, what's the combat trainer got for us? 
medkits have a chance of appearing. That's awesome. Hell yes. Um, what jobs have we got? Three batteries for bandits. And defense. For 22 bucks. Oh, man, it's probably not worth it, but let's have a go. try each kind of job at least once each. Give you guys a look. This was actually one of the first games that I ever reviewed. Um, and I was writing for DoesThisGameSuck.com at that point, which I believe is called Massive Combo now. I still do a bit of writing here and there. It's just, life's kind of getting in the way at the moment. Hell yeah. That was not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Still don't know if it was worth 22 bucks, but, you know. Oh my god. Alright. Um, wow, we can't even do a full repair. Okay, we're going on a scavenger run. and then food straight off the bat. I like this. But what I'd really like is some scrap and lots of it. Jeez, cleaning up on the food. Scrap. So, scrap, please. Oh, well, boss. Oh, God, what is it? It's a zombie bear. That's food. All right. Again, we need scrap. Money. He's not doing well at finding scrap. I'm finding money and food, which is awesome, but really use some scrap. There's some scrap. Hell yeah. And this is a bad time for my mouse to screw up. Jeez, man. Frickin' mouse, what's your deal?
do great. But I did good enough. That's what matters. Okay, I think we're good to leave. What are our supplies like? Yep. Alright, let's head off. Off to Indianapolis. Broken down cars block the path. Navigating the debris takes an hour. Great. I wonder which one of my team members is going to be a liability. A fuel can went missing. God damn it. Come on, guys. Keep an eye on our stuff. I see a pile of zombies feasting on something. Or someone. The road is impossible. Finding a way around takes an hour. Ooh. 29 bucks in an abandoned car. Score. Herbinger has a broken arm. Herbie, what are you doing, mate? Walk upgrade. Less likely for the battery to die. I mean, that is good. <sighs> Why not? It's better than nothing, I guess. We can always replace it if we get something better. What jobs have we got? Bandits for four scrap. Oh, no. <laughs> no, thank you. What's our party looking like? Oh, Herbie. Herbie. Liability, Herbie. <laughs> How'd you break your arm, you fool? You numpty. Alright. I think we're probably good to go to the next town. See how we go. Off to farmland. hear gunfire from nearby buildings. Well, let's go. Get the hell away from that. Sparks shoot out the back. Your muffler is dragging on the road. Time to replace it. You replace it from supplies. Damn it, now I need another muffler. It looks like something interesting is happening off the side of the road. Would you like to have a look? I guess. You enter a small police station. There are a few bodies on the ground and dried blood on the walls. You hear a gentle voice coming from one of the jail cells. You there? Would you do me a favor? Inquire. I just need you to give me a piece of that zombie over there. He points to one of the police officers whose head is missing from his shoulders. They put me in here for biting people. I don't have the disease, but I wish I did. I'm not a bad person. I just recognize the new world order and I want in. It's not like I can hurt anybody from in here. I'll just be eternally at peace. Immortal. I can hear, I can tell you where they kept their ammunition. All right. You move the body closer to him and he snaps off a finger of the officer. Thank you, here. Use these keys to get into the top drawer on the left. He throws you the keys and walks to the edge of his cell. He appears quite content as he sits down in his, on his cot and places the infected meat into his mouth. You leave him to himself and fish out the ammunition. Gross, dude. I would have shot him anyway after, if I had the option. <laughs> Broken down cars blocking the way. The farmland. Less damage. Just don't know if it's worth 80 bucks. Um, what jobs have you got? Not good ones. Recovery. Recovery is always good. Tires. Well, 
we should probably do some trading so we can get another muffler. One of their battery for 37 of our food. We have lots of food, so yeah, I'll take that. There one. One of their muffler for one of our batteries. We got two batteries. Hell yes, that's a sweet trade. And I think we're good to go again. Um, let's look at the party's health. Ugh, Herbie. Herbie! Come on, dude. Get two hours sleep. We gotta go before it gets higher zombie activity. Ugh, God damn it. You see what you've gone and done. A bike gang follows you out of the settlement. What the hell? A bike gang. Oh, okay. Alright, we're gonna crash it. I don't want to know what happens if we don't crash into them, but it sure looks like they stop. Probably shoot at us or something. As if you wouldn't, like, stop after you killed them all. And, like, salvage their bikes for parts, steal their guns. Hell, salvage them. Their bones can be used to carve weapons. Their meat can be eaten in desperate situations. I'm not a cannibal, I'm just saying. In a survival situation, you gotta do what you gotta do. As if Bear Grylls would need a person if he had to. You hit a zombie, it leaves a ding on the hood of the station wagon. Oh man, now I'm gonna have to repair it soon. Something catches your eye on the, off the road. Yeah, let's have a look. You see a man running towards you. He shoves a box into your hands and steps back. Here, have this. I'm gonna give it back. Damn it! He walks off muttering to himself. Yeah, I'm not taking a gamble on that suspicious shit. Hell no. If I open it up, there'll probably be a freaking head in there waiting to bite me. Um... Never lose a gas can. Um, yes, but we need two more dollars. Actually, I can probably sell some stuff. Sell some food. There we go. Whoops. Sick of losing gas, gas cans. Now we don't have to worry about that. Um, alright, party. Herbie's okay. Car desperately needs repairs. Damn. Oh well. Oh sweet, the um... the gas can's on top of the car. Actually, let's have a look at the map. Alright, so we're like... Almost a quarter of the way. Um, set our pace. Slow and steady at 30. Move with urgency at 45. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go at normal. Um, what are our upgrades looking like? Nice. Alright, let's head off. think you can see something going on in the distance. You get out of the car to investigate. You see a strange looking creature in the bushes. From this distance it looks like some kind of monstrous half-man, half-deer. Get a closer look. It notices you and quickly turns its gaze at you. You realize the creature is just a man covered in what appears to be a very, very large beaver hide with a large beaver tail dangling between its legs. You see deer antlers protruding from the beaver head, with little bits of dried flesh speckled across them. He stares at you, like a deer in the headlights. Greet the man. You greet the man cautiously. You're human, right? Oh man, you scared me for a moment. You're probably wondering why I look like this. Ask about the getup. I've been living in the wild for a while now. You can call me the Jack Beaverloop. I dress like this because I think it makes the undead ignore me. 
It's hard to tell. Maybe it's the fur or the smell, but they seem less interested. Unless you get hungry. Unless they get hungry, I've had to gore a few of them with these antlers. Huh. Ask about the name. No, ask about living in the wild. Well, I used to be a teacher at Technical College of Des Moines. Long story short, my entire class chokes up a bit. They all turned, and I... I think I did the right thing, but I couldn't live with myself, so I decided I would take my chances out here, away from anybody else I might have to hurt. I took up this new persona. It makes things easier. Hey, thanks for listening. Why don't you take these berries? Good luck out there, friend. Aww. The dear beaver loop. It looks like something interesting happening on the road. Man, so many events. You find a makeshift shower someone must have built. There isn't much running water these days. A shower would feel nice. Who should take the shower? Hmm. You're probably the hairiest, Pete. Hoff looks refreshed. There you go, buddy. Don't think I don't freaking look after you. If you aren't sure which way to go, you lose an hour bickering with Grim. Grim, come on, man. It's this way. Oh, I don't know what that said. Whoops. Your tire broke, but you were able to repair it from supplies. Good. If you aren't sure which way to go, you lose an hour bickering with Hop. Dude! You just had a shower. Chill out. Relax, bro. What's going on? Combat trainer. Nothing. Why is there a combat trainer if he teaches nothing? Jobs. Mm, no. Oh, let's do this. Two med kits is pretty good. satisfying. It plays really well, like, it's got, like, primitive graphics, but it's on purpose. And, um... Just the way it plays is really freaking tight. It does exactly what it's meant to do. I'm not gonna blame the game for my shitty mouse. My mouse does that shit with other stuff. Hell yeah, two easy med kits. Let's have a look. I only have two scrap. Shit. Um, you know what? We can probably leave it one more time. Oh crap, we've got no money. Alright, one last time. We'll go to the next town. Head to St. Louis. And then I can rest up and repair the car between episodes. Ark has typhoid. Ooh, that's not good, buddy. That is not good. I don't know what's worse, that or dysentery. But I'd say they're both pretty bad. Suddenly find yourself surrounded by zombies. Shit. sound comes from behind you. Oh, crap. 
don't let the enemies hit the car. Shit. And our car health is low. Oh god. Okay, zombie deer. Shit. Oh my god, our car health is down to nothing. I can't get hit again. Sweet. Oof, just made it to St. Louis. Alright. A cow catcher. No slowdown from rubble. I got no money to repair our car. God damn it. 28 bucks recovery. Alright. Well, I'm going to call that an episode there anyway. If you guys like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell to stay up to date with episodes. And I'll probably heal up and repair the car between episodes before we continue on in the next one. But yeah, I'll see you in the next episode of Organ Trail on Dude Go Back. Thanks for watching, everyone.